With FLIR tools, it is possible to manually create IR and photo image groups. This can be very helpful for a number of reasons. In this folder, I have some images from an i7 camera, which does not have the ability to save a photo. I can group images manually using photos from a digital camera, but first I have to copy them into the library folder. Right-click on one of these images and click Open Containing Folder. Now, open the folder containing your digital camera photos and place the windows side by side. Drag and drop the desired photos into the folder with the i7 images. When you open FLIR Tools, the photos should be indexed and showing in the library. This may take a minute if you are copying a large number of photos. To create the groups, simply drag the photo on top of the matching IR image. You can repeat this process for each set of images in this folder. You can always ungroup images if you right-click and select Ungroup. This process can also help with legacy cameras, like a P65, which have the ability to take a photo but won't group automatically. You can easily drag and drop the photos to create the new groups. Cameras with MSX mode store the photo embedded with the IR image. However, there may be a case where you want to use your own digital camera photo for the inspection report. You can still add another photo to the group if needed. You can drag and drop this image into the library folder and then add it to the image group. To use this photo in the report, click Options, then Report. Uncheck this option to extract digital camera photo from the thermal image. This tells FLIR Tools to use the second photo for the PDF and Word reports rather than the MSX photo. Now when the final report is made, you can see that it's using the secondary photo on the report page.